Good morning, everybody. So, I'm at the roadside again. I do hope and trust that the noise from the vehicle is not disturbing you or me. Alright, so, a quick inspiration for you this morning. And many of you have known or heard of this story. This is a popular story that, um, it's a fable, so to speak. It's about trying to please everybody, the man, the boy, and uh, the donkey. And uh, you know the story well, when the boy and his father was going to the market with the donkey. I guess they were going to sell the donkey. And uh, while they were walking around the road, Somebody shouted at them that they are foolish. Why are they walking when the donkey was made to carry load? So the father decided to put the son on the donkey. The son was riding the donkey while the father was tugging along. Somebody again cried out, You wicked boy, you are riding while your father is walking. They stopped again, decided, oh, let the father decided to go on the donkey himself. And let the sun walk. Along the way, somebody shouted at them, You wicked father, there is enough room for you and the, the boy. Why are you letting him, letting him walk? So he decided to put the boy on the donkey. And they both were on the donkey. Not long before, somebody shouted at them, You two lazy bunkers. Why are you so cruel to the animal? The poor animal. So they stopped and decided what they should do. So they got a pole and they tied the donkey legs and they put it in the pole and up on their shoulder they carried the donkey. They carried the donkey. <laughs> now on reaching the bridge near the market the donkey, one of the donkey legs slip from the pole, from the rope, and it causes the boy to stumble. And as he stumbled, the donkey fell right over the bridge. And because his legs were tied, he drowned. Now some authors, they carry it differently. Each person carries that different. But the fact of the matter is, just to tell you that, if you try to please people, you'll turn yourself into a fool and in the end, you'll end up losing. So you cannot please everybody. So this morning, my little talk is, don't be a people pleaser. Don't be a, as much as we all want people to like us, we have to face the fact that we really can't please everyone. And that's a fact. There will always be someone that for whatever reason, our very present irritates them, and that is so true. Persons, you don't have to even open your mouth for persons to dislike you, right? For some reason or the other. We have to move beyond the naive expectation that if we are nice, people will treat us right. The fact is, they may or may not God doesn't want us to live our lives trying to please other people. But he does want us to live for him and become more like him. In other words, don't be a people pleaser. Be a Jesus pleaser. We can't control the behavior of others, but what we can do is control our own behavior. We can be kind even when others are not. We can smile when when frowned at, when persons frowned at us, we smile back at them. Yeah, that can make a difference in their lives. And be gracious in the most trying situation. Choosing not to retaliate or respond to in anger. There is only one poss possible with, there is only, sorry, this is only possible with God's help. We can claim Philippians 4 verse 13 and trust that God will give us the strength to respond in a Christ-like way. 
and we can ask him to fill our hearts with love for everyone including our enemies and what is Philippians 4.13 says we can do all things I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me all right so let us claim that promise that with God all things are possible and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and try to please God and not to please others when we please God then we are well on our way to heaven because God is pleased with us okay so I do open trust that you are inspired this morning and you don't keep it to yourself because we have a lot of people pleasers out there and we want it to spread abroad to let them know that they can't please people all the time they have as long as they are doing the things of God please God that is all right don't watch what people want to say don't mind what pe how much people dislike you as long as you know you are on the right track that is good enough for God all right so have yourself a wonderful a productive day and remember Auntie Pauline is saying if you can't be good be careful I right, to love checking out